Good morning everyone from Manila here in the Philippines. So it's our first ever day here and our first ever time in the Philippines altogether and we're so happy to be here. It's a good, good day. We're currently in the Fort Santiago. Fort Santiago. Yes. <laughs> Which we knew was kind of one of the main tourist destinations here in Manila. Um, so we're not too sure what to expect. We know that it's in the interim, interim Intramuros. Intramuros. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Which again is one of the main districts or areas in the Manila city. Yeah, it's basically like a walled city. We grabbed these from the tourist office. It's basically like a walled city. Um, and we're literally just here at the minute looking at the Fort Santiago. And it's basically something to do with the history of Spain. Spain. <laughs> yeah. Now it does feel very Spanish around here. You can see a lot of Spanish yeah. influence. Which Spanish obviously, music, yeah. coffee shops. Um, and first impressions, it's really nice here. It's so cool. Yeah, the city, uh, we had a short drive through the city because we're staying kind of outside of the city. Mm -hmm. The city looks incredible. And we thought we'd just start the day off in the fort, checking out the history yes. of Manila. And then obviously, as the day goes by, we'll kind of venture more into the city, get a taste of the food, the people, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. yeah. And we hadn't done much re research on Manila before coming here. Yeah. So it's all very new to us. It is very we new to us. kind of wanted to be surprised. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's the best way to get a real feel for the city if you don't do much research before. Mm -hmm. It all kind of like, it's all new to you. You don't know what to expect, like Beth said. And yeah, I mean. Yeah. It feels more authentic. It does feel more authentic. <laughs> and we're so happy to be here in the Philippines. It's been on our list for so long now. Yes. It's been on the bucket list for many years and we're finally here in the Philippines. So. Yeah, we've got a week in Manila, so we're going to do as many videos in Manila as possible. Um, but today it's just a first impressions and, oh, as we say, first impressions, we walk into this bit and this looks yeah, really nice. Like Originally the site of the old fort of Raja Suleiman, 1584. So a long old time ago. Yeah, it actually does look really old as well. Like it hasn't had any yeah. kind of um, refurbishment like, work or anything either. I'm going to guess they look like bullet holes there. Don't say that. Someone can correct me, but these here, I believe, look like bullet holes along there. The no, I'm pretty sure. If, you, if any of you guys know, let me do, do let me know, but I believe they are bullet holes. They look like bullet holes anyway. Yeah, they look like it to be fair. Um, and oh, look at this. It's so nice. It's so nice how it's all preserved yeah. and kind of like as it is or as like it was. It sorry. has been really kind of tourist defied yeah <laughs> um as you can see it's so it's really busy here and it's just hit midday so i expect it to get a lot more busier yeah it's nice here though what's really cool here in the fort is the fact that just below this viewing point is like kind of dungeon style shops and they've got loads of different shops you've got restaurants you've got ice cream you've got gifts it's really it cool very european yeah it feels like we've been transported back to spain or yeah something it's really Even cool. The music, but if it's picking up on camera. Uh huh. Yeah, like everything: Philippine coffee, milk tea, rice meals. We got paintings and souvenirs this side. It's really nice. Like, really nice, actually. But that is it for the fort now. We've had a little history lesson and it's just nice to uh, make this our first stop here on our tour in Manila. We're now gonna head further into the city. Uh, it's around about lunchtime, so we can grab some foods, maybe grab some tea or coffee. Um, Philippine, Filipino coffee. Filipino really coffee, yeah, same. Um, and we might head towards a mall, see what the malls are like here, compare them to places we've been. And yeah, gonna go deeper into uh, the city over this way, I believe. I'm not entirely sure where we're going or what I we're gonna see. Here we might still be in Intramuros. Okay. I think. Yeah. It looks like a big sure old place. I'm not sure how big it kind of spans. Yeah. But we'll hopefully figure it out on the way. We will. <laughs> We've got a while here, so we just need to get our bearings and figure out what's where and yeah. how to get places. This is like the first day, so we're very new to it. All. Yeah. Like headless chickens at the moment. <laughs> so we're just walking through the city, and we've stumbled across this incredible looking cafe here um, I guess this must be maybe like a Spanish colonial building of some sort because look at the architecture it is insane and it looks so nice <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go in there and grab a drink but oh my god look how nice this looks it's nice this it does isn't it let's go ourselves a coffee shall we Ooh, it's really nice where are you going Oh, do you want to get to sit down with you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they've got loads here. Hi. Oh, okay. So nice. Oh, 
so iced beverages, black tea series, milk tea, there's loads. Coffee frappes, oh I might get a, I love myself a coffee frappe. Thank you. Salted caramel macchiato. Oh my god, I'm gonna get one of those I think. Please can I get one of the salted caramel mocha? Salted caramel mocha. The frappe, frappe please, okay. thank you. What are you gonna go for? I think I might go for peach or mm. Sir, excuse me, is it okay without whipped cream on top? That's okay, fine, okay. yeah, no problem. Have you run out, have you? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Salted caramel macchiato. Yes, please. You want some coffee there? Uh, yeah, can I go for um, a peach iced tea? Peach iced tea, okay. Yeah, and then can I get some of the black pearl? Okay, then I should, yeah, I should. Really can't believe how nice this place is. I hope it's picking up a camera. It's decorated beautifully. Mm. It's a perfect little stop. Really nice. It? It's got like stone walls. Yeah. That's plants. Like. Unreal. What a little spot here. Hopefully the uh, drinks match up with the decor. Yeah, I think it's a really touristy cafe. I think it's literally called the Intramos Cafe. So it's like bang in the centre. Mm. Um, Here we go. What are you doing with yours? Just give it a mix. Mm. Right, so um, give us a taste. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's just what I needed. How's yours? That's so good. Is it nice, is it? Minty. Is it? That's what it tastes. That's really good. Refreshing. Oh, that is nice. Mm. Mm. So if you're out in the area, guys, check out this place. What oh, is a bit minty, actually? Because it's unreal. That, this caramel macchiato is insane. But yeah, I mean, look how nice it is. Perfect little pit stop if you ask me. What a way to uh, energize the day. So we're just walking past what seems like a uh, national monument, maybe the army. We have some armed guards out the front of it, protecting it, which is quite nice. We have some guards there and there as well. And this area just looks so tropical. You got like palm trees here, Blue skies, it looks so, so nice. nice. And the sun's come out across as well, which is absolutely yeah. lovely. Honestly, looking down there, it looks like you're looking down Rodeo Drive in I was just uh, Hollywood. To say, I was yeah. just to say, it looks like um, America. It does, it? yeah. Literally, this is what you see in like Florida and Hollywood and that kind of stuff. Like, it's so nice here. And even over there, I mean, it does help that we've got blue skies, but it's, I'm really enjoying it so yeah, far. It's I'm really nice. I'm going around taking pictures. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Now we're gonna go to a restaurant called Mesa. Mesa. M-E-S-A. Which is supposed to be yeah, it's supposed to be one of the chains here in the Philippines. And we're gonna get some traditional Filipino food. Um, yeah, it's actually voted one of the best Filipino restaurants. I think it's like 12 years running or something. Oh wow, so, yeah. okay. So that'll be the best place to get our first Filipino dish. How long have we got, do you know? I think about 20 minute walk. 20 minute walk. Pretty much straight down this way, I believe, somewhere. Over there. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, nice. Oh, looking forward to some Filipino food, that's for sure. Robinson's. Robinson's Place Manila. So, the restaurant we're looking for is in here, apparently. Not entirely sure how to get in or where the entrance is, but I guess we'll soon find out. Uh, it looks like a bit of an old mall. Um, we might go to a nicer mall later on in the day, but first off is food, of course. So we're going to find our way in around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the food's like. Never yeah. had Filipino. Never, food never had Filipino also. food. This is a first. It is. Just got to find the restaurant first. <laughs> oh, I feel like we have an entrance here. There we go. Hello, how are you? All right then. Now where do we go? Looks like they've got quite a lot in this mall actually. Uh, yeah, it's really big, isn't it? Of course, we have no idea where we're going, but there is a lot here, as you can see. Let's head on down this way. I feel like this floor is a food floor. There's like loads of restaurants and stuff everywhere. So I'm hoping it's on hit this floor. Somewhere. Here we go. We found our restaurant of choice, Misa Mesa. Not entirely sure how you pronounce it, but we're here. Hello. 
Hi. Table for two, please. Thank you. Here we go, here we go. Mm. Thank you. Two, yes, please. Oh. It smells amazing in here. Thank you. It smells so good, doesn't it? Oh, it smells really good. Right then. Nice selection of drinks and beverages you can get. Oh, and desserts. Look at those. So now I did want the adobe or adoba, but unfortunately they don't do it here. So we're going to go for adobo. Is adobo? I think it's adobo. God knows. Um, we're going to go for, let's order, shall we? Salt pepper spare ribs. How many in this Thank you. And then can we get the chicken barbecue? Bonus chicken barbecue as well, which is nice. Like we said, this is our first ever time ordering and eating Filipino food, so we basically have no idea what we've ordered. Um, I think it should take about 10 minutes, 10 minutes to come out? Yeah, no, 20. 20 minutes to come out, so yeah, not too bad. I mean, we'll have to wait now and then we'll see what food comes out. Hopefully it's nice, it smells really good in here, so it should be. Wow. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you very much. Oh, that the noodles. That look good. Thank you. And that is the chicken. And we have some rice. Okay, so these noodles are the like centaga or something noodles. Yeah, it was like it began with that. S. Yeah, but that looks really nice. We got I think it's chicken or pork noodles. A bit of veg. Oh, we've got a prawn there as well. We got some plain rice, and then I believe we have this. Chicken yeah, skewers. We're just, we're just waiting for the ribs now. Oh, so we yeah. have ribs, I think we got. Yes. But this looks incredible. It smells so good. It looks so nice for other people to order as well, but we don't know what it is. So yeah. It's like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess whilst we're waiting for the pork, we can uh, try some of this chicken. Oh. Mm. That reminds me of like. Barbecue chicken skewers at home. They smell amazing. Yeah. Oh, these are so good. Oh, that's like the nicest chicken I've had in a long time. I'm not joking. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's bold as well because we eat chicken time. Get some down your neck. That's your neck. How are the noodles? I don't know what flavour they are, but they're really good. So I found that there's actually bits of pork in there. So this, I thought it was chicken first, but it's actually pork. So it's just, mm, no, really I was actually nice. it to be Yeah. But these noodles are like almost see through. It's so weird. You don't get noodles like this at home, but they're really nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, they look good. Yeah, so we now have some salt and pepper spare ribs, which look insane. I'm gonna go straight in and get one. I'm not sure what the sauce it is. Yeah. Different. They're different to what we have at home. Mm. 
do you reckon? It's a bit like um, it tastes like something, but I can't yeah. it tastes like. Like the batter, the fried bit tastes like something. I can't, yeah. Maybe. Popcorn. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is a popcorn. It does actually taste like popcorn. Or popcorn in the UK anyway. I have been there. Yeah. It's a strange sensation. Mm. But it's nice though. I'm glad we picked them. This is a spread and a half. It's chicken, noodles, more rice, and some pork there. Incredible. Don't even know where to start. Yeah. Just like that, we are finished. Now, that was absolutely lovely. My favorite out of all this was definitely a chicken, mostly followed by these noodles, and then those ribs. I wasn't a huge fan of the ribs. It was just so weird that they tasted like popcorn. Yeah. Like to us, like, they tasted exactly like popcorn. Yeah, I completely agree. The popcorn taste was a bit... Mm. But the rest of it, these two were incredible. So, yeah. Yeah, these was nice, but I felt like the chicken was a bit fatty. But I don't know if that's just the way that you throw your chicken over here, I'm not sure, but yeah. they were We'll find out how much it was and compare it to like English prices. <sighs> but I'm stuffed now. Stuffed. That was good though. Bill goes a long way. Yeah. Right, so it's come to... Okay then, so the bill has arrived. It's come to £15.38. So we had two mineral waters, salt and ribs, bonus chicken, sotangon, guisado, which was uh, noodles, <laughs> and then one plain rice. So yeah, £15.38. Definitely not the cheapest compared to what we've been eating in like uh, Indonesia, India, Sri Lanka. It's quite a bit more expensive actually. Um, it kind of comes to about $20. Yeah, dollars, yeah. So that's pretty similar to what you pay at home really. Uh, not too different to England, but I mean, it was lovely. So we're happy with it. Um, and yeah, so a total of 1,090 pesos. Not bad. Yeah, about £7.69 each. That's not bad to be fair, is it? First ever Meza done. That was incredible. And we're actually in this mall. Although I said on the outside it didn't look too nice, but it's actually really nice around here. The mall is huge. I'll show you kind of just down here. So we're gonna have a wander around this place first, but they've got so much going on here. And from the outside, it definitely didn't look like this. There's so many floors. It's really done up and modern. And I don't even know what this is. It's like a market down there, which is quite cool. So you might head down there. Yeah, it's really nice here. Really nice here, actually. I'm quite impressed. We've got a big sale on down there, so we'll have a look at that. Um, I believe Beth wants to get a bubble tea, so we'll get one of those as well. You gonna get a bubble tea? Uh, you gonna get one? Not right now. No. I was looking, because I think they have a few in this mall, so. Uh, okay. We'll get some of More expensive than they are in Borneo, that's for sure. Like, yeah, Borneo was super cheap, <laughs> isn't it? Well, Beth has found herself outside of a frozen yogurt place and she loves frozen yogurt, so... Oh, look at that. Does it say what flavours they Oh, that looks good. These sound nice. Banana almond crunch. I might get one of those, you know. Parfait. Now, I did want some ice cream. I said earlier I wanted some ice cream. And I can see Banoffee Parfait here in this cup that looks really good. So... Uh, the Bonoffi Parf... Can I have the um, Bonoffi Froyo Parfait? Yes, Froyo Parfait. Yes, please. Perfect. Yeah. That's not bad for 199 either, is it? And then can I get a small... Do you just do the um, original original Froyo? Original Froyo. Yes. Happy. Um, I'll get... Uh, yeah, I'll get... Just your happy. Uh, it's original Parfait. Yeah, fine. Yeah, thank you. Oh, so let's go and see how they do mine then. Okay. Is that like banana? So she's cut up. Hey, look. It's like a layer then. Granola. Oh, fruit. Oh. So much going on in that. We've got like cornflakes, granola. Mango, pineapple, ice cream, or yogurt. 
banana as well. Wow, okay. What are you going to go for then? I'm going to go for just a small Froyo with... I saw strawberries, so they want to get strawberries. Oh yeah, strawberries. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it's Thank you very much. Oh yeah, uh, just a small uh, original. So then, this is what it looks like. We've got granola, ice cream, fruits, more granola. That looks lovely. Unreal. Caught you slipping there, didn't I? You did. How is it? Amazing. So yeah, I asked for some um, caramel sauce on top of mine because a little bit bland of wise. Mm -mm. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> What's wrong? It's cold. Oh, actually, I haven't had frozen nugget in a long time. So good, isn't it? Honestly, frozen mm. nugget is so much nicer than actual ice cream. Mm. And it's meant to be better for you, so. <laughs> Supposedly. Mm. Oh, the fruit. You've got mango and pineapple in there, so I love it. Yeah. Mm. It's weird, I wouldn't normally go for fruit in my frozen yogurt, but it's actually quite nice, you know? Mm. Big fan. I know, I'm full of other good ideas. So we've now left them all and we're gonna to head to the beach. Now, I never actually knew there was a beach in Manila, um, but I guess because you're on the coast, you do have one. So we're kind of near the beach for now. We're just walking over the main road, as you can see. We're gonna head down this way <laughs> and check out Manila's local beach. Not expecting too much, but um, of course, check out. It's not only that busy, is it really? But It's like the shortest walk from the mall as well. It's only like yeah. five minutes, five uh -huh. minutes. There's a lot going on down here as well, so check out these market stalls. See what's around, but... Yeah, I mean, I didn't even realise there was a beach here, so... Pleasantly yeah. surprised, actually. It's so all they had a port, yeah. and like a harbour in front, but wasn't expecting a beach. No, <laughs> me neither. Not entirely sure how to get in there, but we'll find the entrance. We've got loads here from toys, sunglasses, Ice cream, maybe. Yeah. More toys. Carriages. Yeah. So if this is the exit, we're trying to find the entrance now. Um, where is it? Excuse me. Where's the entrance? That way. Thank you. Just down here, then apparently. Oh, where are we going? What's this all about? I don't know if you have to pay. I'm not sure. To get in. I hope not. It's yeah. beach. <laughs> Never paid to get into a beach before, so that'd be a first. Hello. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah Bin. Oh, oh, England. England. Yes. Go ahead, Thank you. See. You. He was nice. It looks like you can't take any water from the yeah. beach, though. So it looks just got on this tent here. It was a uh, like a table, and everyone had. It was full of like bottles and water and stuff. So, as Beth said, I don't think you could bring any bottles of water in here. I get it if it's for, what's the word? Like not littering Yeah. or like leaving trash, but it's a hot day. Yeah, it's a hot day. You're <laughs> gonna need some water. But we're here, <laughs> we're on the beach. It's like a gravelly beach, so yeah, I'm not sure if it's like man-made or not, maybe. I was expecting sand, but no. I mean, but what a glorious day. Yeah, you can't really nice. do much on this beach. It says no swimming, no eating, no smoking, no littering, no spitting. <laughs> No pets and no food. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Not entirely sure what you can do here, really. Then. <laughs> Is this just to come and chill for yeah. like five minutes and then you've got to leave again? Unless they're making it something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's like under construction. Um, yeah. Let's go and check the sea. See what it's like in here. I'm not entirely sure why it says no swimming. Maybe because it's kind of like a poor area. The water's not too clean. I'm not sure. You'll have to let us know anyway. But we'll go down. There's a few people. They don't really have the facility, like the people, the resources to kind of police it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I mean the water doesn't look too clean. Yeah. I'm so that. Um, <laughs> maybe because it's like a poor area, it's just unsafe to swim in. But I mean, it's quite well, cool though. Yeah. Get a nice breeze. Nice to chill out here. But the city looks so nice. So it looks like a big Ferris wheel down there, and all one big strip of here. 
So maybe we should head down that way afterwards because I can see a strip of palm trees, which means normally that means there's like a nice area. Um, so yeah, nice. I did not expect to be on the beach today, that's for sure. So Beth's just been looking and down that area is, I can't hear you. I don't know, Makati, Makati, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Oh, oh so where's it going? <laughs> this one. Down that area is Makati. I'm not sure you can see on the screen here, but I believe that's like one of the nicer areas. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head down there and check that area out because uh, we haven't yet so far and people have recommended it to us. So Yeah, I think a lot of the markets, like the food markets and like the weekend markets tend to be open in that direction. Ah, okay. Which we hopefully do get to check out at some point whilst we are here. Yes, we will, we will. But we'll uh, head down that way now and check out that area. See more of the city while the sun's still up. So then, now we're going to go back towards where we're staying, which is kind of like a little bit outside of the main end and centre. Can't get my words out. We're about to get a grab, and he is eight minutes away. So, yeah, I mean, I think the grabs around here. It's always really far away. Yeah, there was a lot going on like in the area near our hotel. So we're going to go check that out because uh, we haven't properly checked it out yet, and see if there's some cool stuff to do. Hopefully, this guy comes shortly. Here we go, here we go. Hello. Hi. How are you? I always forget they sit on the other side of the car. Yeah. About 35 minutes in the car until we get to where we need to go, which is quite a long time actually. It just shows you just how far out we are. So we're going all the way up there and we're currently there. Um, and yeah, we'll just check out the local area, see what's going on. Hopefully it's quite nice. There we go, dropped off. Now we are closer to where we're staying and we've seen out of the car window a place around here to get some little snacks. So what look like some Filipino snacks. So we're gonna go and have a look and see what they've got. It's quite lively around here. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's really lively around here, actually. Oh, what have we got? I have no idea. No idea. What's around the other side as well? It is like a bit of a bakery. Loads of desserts. Oh wow, what are they? Yeah, I can't tell. Oh, that looks nice. That does look nice. I might get some of the cake. Oh. I'm really not sure what any of these are, but they look quite nice, so we might as well give some a try. Um, which ones to go for, though? That is a question. That looks kind of like purple lavender-y. It does. What's this one? Yeah. Looks like it's caked in some sort of icing, maybe. <laughs> and these ones look quite nice. Yeah. Mm. Different. I haven't seen these before, so God knows what they're like. I reckon I'm going to go for one of those. Yeah. And maybe like a, one of those brownie tape looking things. Yeah. And then whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Which one was it? I don't know. I'll point that in. One. Yes, please. What, what is this? Green girls bar. Oh, what, sorry? Green girls. Okay. No idea. No idea. <laughs> yeah. And one of those as well, please. And what's this one? Brownies. Okay, nice, yeah, cool. And then, Thank you. And then one of these. And can we have a bottle of water as well, please? A bottle of water? A water bottle? What, what's this one? Spider. Spider cake. Okay. <laughs> well, that's nice. really fitting. <laughs> How much do we owe you? How much? Oh. So that came to a total of 48 pence. So 34 what? pesos. Yeah. And it's 48 pence. That's not bad at all. That's really not bad. Not bad at all. That's like amazing. Yeah. That's so, so we've got three little pieces of cake and a bottle of water for 48 pence, we don't which really is. We don't know what anything is. Yeah. To be so I mean I know what a brownie is. So we're gonna give the brownie a go. See how it tastes if we can get into it. It's quite hard. What do you want? Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah, it 
feels a bit hard. Hmm. It tastes like it's been sat out for a while. Yeah. It's not very gooey, but I mean, it's not bad. Not the worst I've ever tasted. Mm. We'll go over there. there we'll do. On there. And then next one we have is, I really don't know what this is. That looks so unappetizing. Um, but I'll give it a go. If you guys know what this is, please do let me know because I don't understand what she said. Hmm. That was actually really nice. It's like more of a brownie than the other one was. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like a little chocolate ball. Oh, yeah. With icing at the top. Mmm. Mm, quite I nice, like isn't it? That. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that one actually. That's, That's really uh, nice. It's like chocolate. It's nice, yeah, it's nicer than a brownie. Right and then. then we've got the, the spider, spider cake. cake. Which actually looks it looked really good in the window. Mm. How would you describe it? I mean, mm. it's quite like ready purpley in colour. It tastes a bit like carrot cake. Oh really? Like a chocolate caramel carrot cake. Mm. Yeah, you're right, doesn't Isn't it? it? Mm. It's got the spices of, of the carrot cake. Yeah. That's that. We'll be back there to try some other gifts. <laughs> there was so much in there, so yeah, we'll definitely be back there. And for the sake of 40 pence, 34 pesos is really good. Compared to the prices that you get in the city, Yeah. so much cheaper. This is true. Now, there is a 7-Eleven near us apparently, and we need to get some stuff for the next couple of nights. We might take the walk there now uh, and see what the 7-Eleven is like here, because obviously in Asia, 7-Elevens are massive, and it's just nice to compare what they're like between the countries. So we're going to find it and get some stuff for later. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Our closest 7-Eleven. Let's see what they've got in store. God, that was slow, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I mean, it's not very big, but looks like they've got some hey. stuff. Oh, uh, hello, how are you? I'm, uh, you're a blogger. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? Nice I'm fine, I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh. You're, you're welcome to 7 Eleven. Thank you very much. Thank you. We Let's see what here. we do. Is this yeah. your shop? No. Yeah, good. Right then, what do we have? We I need to get some food for later. Well, much cheese, to be honest. Yeah. Oh. So we were just kind of thinking like a pot noodle. Yeah, that's what she <laughs> has. Something similar. Mm. We'll give a shout out for sure. Shout out to the guys <laughs> at 7 Eleven. <laughs> What's your name? Ellie. Ellie. Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. Nice I'm Dan. You, <laughs> right then. What shall we get? Cup noodles down here. We not much choice here. Mm. Um, oh yeah, they are quite small, aren't they? Get to what about one. these ones? Yeah. Uh, jam pong, Korean spicy seafood flavour. That, that sounds quite cool. nice. That sounds really nice. Beef actually. bone marrow. Beef bone marrow. I thought you'd like that one. Maybe. Give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if like the pot noodles here are big in um, Philippines, in Malaysia and Singapore they are. Uh, so I'm not sure if you guys like them as much as they do, but yeah. Oh my God, so I've just seen, look at the size of these Gatorades. They are absolutely massive. Gatorade tropical fruit. Is that 900 mil? Blue bolts, tropical fruit. We got a tropical fruit flavour. That's one point five. Hmm. They're absolutely huge. You uh, don't even really see those in the US. Yeah. You don't get them at home or anything. That's right. So this is what we're getting. Pretty much a <laughs> weekly shop, isn't it? Thank you. Okay, oh. it's got quite a lot to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's a blunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good fun. Yeah. Ooh, crunchy pan, chicken fillet with rice. You can get like full on meals here, that's insane. For 69 pesos, you can get chicken fillet with rice and some gravy by those things. Don't get that at home, do you? Well. Oh yeah, bacon, bacon spread. spread. So strange, you don't get anything like that at home. Chicken spread. Mm. I mean, you get some like sandwich spreads, but not in the pack like that. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about that. 
Thank you. Can we please get a bag as well? Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to eat there? Uh, no. Oh no, we'll take yeah. it away. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Be interesting to see how much all this comes to. Where are you from? England. England. Yeah. Wow, that's. It comes uh, last in far. Two nights. Uh, there is a uh, England. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. How much was it? Sorry. Three three hundred and ten. Three hundred and eight. Thank you. And you're from Manila? Manila. Nice. A little bit Manila. Yeah, good. <laughs> it's nice here. Good weather. Yeah. <laughs> nice talking to you and nice to have a nice day. Thank, Thank you, you very Andrew. much. Lovely we'll to meet you. We'll be back at some point. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you. you. See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Oh, what a lovely guy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Now, uh, hmm. where do we come from? Left. Oh, uh, yeah, straight down a bit. Wow, so before we call it a day, we're yeah. going to head down here, which looks like a really busy little street. Um, and there's so much going on down here. Hello. Put this in there. This is finished. And then, oh my god, look at this. Proper market, so you've got chicken, beef, you've got fish over there. Right. Yeah, it does smell quite strong, I'll give you that, but this is actually pretty cool. They've got <laughs> Beth doesn't like the smell of fish, um, but oh my god, you've got everything coconuts, bananas, dogs if you want a dog. Hello, how are you? Good. Need to be careful with the head. Oh my god, literally everything. This is like a proper little market street, this. It's insane. We'll have a pass the meat and the fish. That yeah. Hello. Hello. How Hello. are you? How are you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Maybe they don't get many uh, tourists down this little street. Yeah, I get the vibe they don't yeah. actually. They've got everything there. Oh my god. It goes on really far down. Yeah, it does. All your vegetables, more fish. Oh my god, like, is that like a pig's head? Oh my god, hello, how are you? She must be thinking, what are you staring at? Hey, You're staring at fish. <laughs> no, no, thank you, buddy. Hi, thank you. Nice to, to meet you. Bye, guys. Hey, from where are you? <laughs> England. 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 England, yes. England. London. London. I've been in London. Yeah. England. Yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. Everyone's so friendly here, aren't they? I think having a camera as well is bringing yeah. attention. <laughs> it's crazy because uh, if you do this in India, it'd be quite, really quite hostile. People try to drag you in and staring at you, but everyone here seems to be really nice and welcoming. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she's like, oh, you're so weird looking. Yeah, she's like, I've never seen you before. <laughs> Wow, this is uh, cool. They've got everything here. I think they're a bit tall Yeah, I know. I keep nearly hitting my head. <laughs> wow. <sighs> okay, and yeah, I mean, I guess that pretty much concludes our day today. Uh, I mean, I've had such a fun day. I love the Philippines. Like, Manila has made such a good impression on me. Um, I mean, yeah. yeah, we hear such negative things from tourists because they either fly to Manila for a couple of nights and fly straight out to the island. So we're really enjoying ourselves. Yeah. So far. Hundred percent. And definitely not what we expected. Not what we expected. So, yeah, you just hit bad comments yeah. sometimes. Yeah. So yeah. Really enjoying ourselves today. Uh huh. Too many travellers come here and they go straight to the islands. They don't really give Manila a chance. So I'm happy to give Manila a chance. Oh my God! Look at that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, we don't like you. Yeah, I'm happy to give Manila a chance and really see what it's like here. So we have the next five to six days here. Uh, so we'll be doing so many videos, exploring pretty much everywhere in Manila. Um, and yeah, super excited for it. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next videos.